once everyone has their character and assets, goals and locations are set up, you start the game. This normally begins with the gadabout, or the youngest player if the gadabout isn't in play, saying, I am in this location, and they can add a new location from the stack if they want to, and I'm trying to do this to try and meet one of my goals. Then you start fleshing out who else is there, one of the other characters maybe, or incidental characters, and you start role-playing. Once you're in a scene, you'll describe what actions your character is taking. This might be in character, as in, I walk over to Lord Farquhar and say, did you get my bottle of wine? Or it could be in third person. William looks over at you and you can tell that he's wondering about his bottle of wine. Other players will say what their character does in response to your actions, and the game continues. At certain points, the things that you're describing might trigger one of your move cards. If this happens, read through the card to the rest of the players and work through its effects. It'll have some effects that are guaranteed, some effects that vary depending on whether you're spending tokens or not, and some effects that other players get input on. To spend a token activating a move, simply take one of your token cards with that symbol on it and place it in your discard pile. If a move tells you to bank a token, simply take the appropriate token card and slide it under the card in question. The card will have conditions for when you can remove those banked cards to get some sort of effect. Once it's become clear that what the focus of the character is trying to do is either succeeded or failed, the scene winds up. Everyone who's able to advance one of their goals using an asset, theirs or someone else's, takes one of these excellence tokens and banks it underneath the goal, showing how far along they've come. Then, scene framing passes to the next player clockwise. When it's your turn to frame a scene, you get to take all of those move cards in your discard pile and put them back in your hand. Now, the next player can try and frame a new scene where their character tries to do whatever they are thinking of to advance on their goals. Or, if they wish, they could activate their trouble move. This makes their life more difficult and takes them out of the scene. They effectively pass in terms of scene framing and they narrate how something has caused them issues for the servant, someone has sent them on an onerous errand, for the gadabout, someone has proposed marriage to them, and obviously that's terrible. They complicate their life in such a way, the other players get some input on what this is, and in exchange, that player gets an excellence token of their own to spend. And these count as wild cards, they can be used as any kind of token. Whenever you gain an excellence token, for example, when you use your trouble move or when you meet a goal, you take that excellence token into your hand, take one of your existing deck tokens and flip it over. Now you have that move to use in addition to your previous ones. So you've played through a bunch of scenes, you've advanced your goal a lot, you decide, I want to achieve that. How do you do that? Well, when it's your turn to frame a scene, you simply set that as your aim for the scene. For example, if your goal is to avoid a criminal conviction for an honest mistake, you say, right, I've got all this evidence, I want to go visit the magistrate, present it to him, and clear my name. Now, these are more difficult than regular scenes. They're make or break pivot scenes. And as part of that, every other player gets to put forward one obstacle that you'll have to overcome in doing so. So maybe the police are already looking for you and they're outside the magistrate's office or it's raining and some of the handwritten notes that you're using get stained. You need to overcome each of these in order to achieve the goal. Now, to help you in this, you have all those advancement tokens. For the duration of this scene, you can use these to activate your moves and have a super-powered uh, attempt to meet the goal. Once the scene is over, you will decide, did you meet the goal or not? If you did, great! You turn that over, now you have this permanently as a excellence token to spend on activating moves, and you're halfway to winning. If you fail, well, it's bad things. You've missed that chance to do achieve that goal, which could have all sorts of consequences. You lose that asset. You discard the card, and you draw a new one. And you try and explain how this has entered your life, and start working towards that new goal. Once someone has met both their goals, the story comes to an end. Starting with the current focus player, each player narrates an epilogue for their character, saying how things worked out for them, how that their trouble move subplot worked out, how their assets and goals 
ended up working out. So you include a positive outcome for each goal you succeeded at and a negative outcome for each goal you failed at. And you go around telling the story, but try not to make things too final. After all, there's always room for another story. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the game. Please feel free to send me any questions, comments, reactions that you have. Bye.